all right all right all right my people welcome back to i am sure sports i am manning's man and we're gonna have a next big one for you today all right yesterday we did a video and we did say um we're going to allow you to make some comments or ask some questions and then we will respond to those questions in this video so at the the latter end of this video we will do that but before we get into the content uh, this morning just a couple of things we want to do and to share with you number one if this is your first time to the i am sure platform we ask you to hit the subscribe button yes hit the subscribe button like the video and make sure that you share the video i'm going to do like this bump and make a a turn oh and i don't find all right it's right here right and then i'm going to get this for you so i'm going to use this when i get to that point of responding to the videos all right this is the next gadget i have here that has your comments so stay tuned for that at the latter stage of this video but i want to teach you a life principle all right this is an experience i had that i can show you how simple um uh innocent parties can be caught up in in difficult or tough situation and this is just this is a principle i wanted to share with as many people as possible just a, a life lesson that i learned so on our way to nicaragua for this game i you know we had obviously we had to go through security at the airport so i'm giving you what happened at the last stage and then i'm going to go to the first stage of everything so when i got to the airport going through security um they said that food was in my carry-on luggage and i was so surprised i'm talking about saying that what are you talking about there is no food in there so they said this cannot show it so they asked me um you know they wanted to open the bag when they opened my bag there was a plastic bag with a big giant size sweet potato so i'm there saying i don't know how this got into my laptop case a very I have a very small laptop and stuff um so i don't know i didn't put it in there i don't know how it got in there and they say yes well and i mean long long process interrogation questions mark you the, the potato was good but if that had been allowed to be taken to the country that we we're coming then i would have had some issues with getting it cleared and all of that so mark you i did not know i did not put it in there so i thought like the maybe someone from the team was doing a little prank on me but it wasn't no prank it was real so i remember that now on sunday as part of an analogy that i used at church i did something where i amalgamated a uh, sweet potato and irish potato together to show the people the power of unity and oneness and how they can't be separated because i use like coconut oil and water to show that though they are in the same container poured into the same thing they still remain separate the coconut oil always stays at the top and the water at the bottom but when it comes to the a uh, sweet potato and the irish potato when you make mashed potato they're all one with all the other ingredients and so the person who was helping me with that had bought a whole lot of sweet potatoes that they never needed they just needed for the, the analogy so they go into my office they open my bag and they dropped it in my bag all right without my knowledge and they, they told my wife that she should have you know let me know that they put the, the rest of the sweet potato in my bag she didn't and i traveled with it no it could have been anything it could have been anything in there so a life lesson what did i learn from that always check your luggage if you're traveling check to make sure that everything every compartment is searched and that everything that is in it you want it in there it could have been a little bit more traumatic than it was but i had to share that all right but i know you're not here for that you're here for some footballing information but that's a life lesson that i wanted to run by you share it with many people check every compartment of every bag i heard stories at the airport about one um a person who played sport in the past um who had who had some marijuana at home stored 
in 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 a in a compartment you know how jamaicans will hide those things in a compartment in one of his suitcase and it was there for a very long time and he forgot and he traveled and ended up in some situation that was unfavorable um on his traverse so just be careful and make sure you check that well you'd have heard the press conference that kevin lambert has come in for this and bernard um and it, it is the same thing, like I said, with Leon Bailey. When, when these things are done, the players who come in must step up so that the players who have opted out for whatever reason have a hard time to get back into this team and no one can complain. I know it is, it, it is suggested that uh, Dishian Bernard is injured. And, thing. and so there are many things that happen with this. There's a FIFA rule that governs that because oftentimes players will say that they are injured and a, f and a federation, you know, in if they want to create issues, could really look to see if the player plays. And if the player plays, they can actually um, have the player be suspended or the club be fined by FIFA for using the, the, the player if they miss the window without proof of medical proof um, that is injured in fact part of the part of fifa's rule allow for the federation the ma to bring the player to be seen by their own personal doctors to validate whether or not the player is actually injured a, a nation could do that but most nations don't do that because you know they want to maintain healthy relationship with their with, with their players and I, I don't think it is a pass that we you know should take right so yeah so hope they get better but again i will say this i will say this players need to step up so that those who up to do this players who up to do this players who up to to you know miss stuff like this they end up having such a difficult time to come back into the team. Why? Because those who have come in have done so well, so, so well that guess what? They cannot, 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 right? Cannot get back in. All right? So he has come in, Kevin Lambert. He's going to join up with the team. Um, today, obviously, he won't be able to play. And so it will be interesting. The team trained yesterday. I mean, wonderful training session. I mean, uh, normally uh, the scrimmage on these days are like the, the youngsters. So you had like the youngsters like the Norman Campbell and the Tyree McGee and the, the Kahim Dixon and the Kiroi Anderson and the Dexter Lembikisa, Jamal Witt. All of those younger players are on one side and they were playing against the older team like the Damian Lowe and the Ethan Pinnock and the younger guys. I mean, they rolled some leather at them. I'm telling you, it was so fun. Lots of rain. Um, the field is not ideal. The, the, the turf is not ideal. But the players know that this is what has to be done. Um, a Honduras play, French Guyana today. I'm thinking that game is going to be a drawn result. So we win. We are we basically are through to the next round. But what we want to do is to top this group. And if we top this group, um, the probabilities are that we will end up playing Canada in November again. Oh, my word. This time, we will not have the rainy night in Jamaica to, to affect that first leg that was played the following day. Hopefully, we can get the win over those two legs and go to Sophie Stadium in March in Inglewood, California for the semifinals and finals of the 22-24 uh, CONCACAF Nations League. So that is what is happening. Those players have come in. Um, strong squad. Everyone is, there, there's one player, I mean, um, who, who uh, it's, a, it's a late decision. Um, in terms of has a little niggle, Casey Palmer, so that's a late decision. Um, but you know, you know, if you watch the press conference, these people are trying to figure out what is going on with the Jamaican team so they can make their, you know, make their, uh, you know, create their strategies. And I know sometimes the people out there want to, want to, want to know what is happening. They want to know what is happening with the team. But I want you to know that other people are listening. So the coaches have to be very, 
coy in how they communicate, less information gets out about the team that they don't want to our opponent. It is good that you know, but for you to know on these platforms, then the opponent is going to know. And whether you believe it or not, I realize again here that a lot of the content in Jamaica is consumed by these uh, journalists in this era, they know what is happening. They're asking about Whisper. They're asking about the Shane Bernard. They're asking about Jamal Law. They know what is happening because they're watching what is happening in this space. So ver be very coy, be very shrewd in how you discuss stuff because other people listen to your content to help prepare their teams against us when it comes on to this football team. So I'm going to take some of your comments. This one is some real talk. 7269 it says all managers presidents and players are expendable so sit there talking like you're exempt and this is the problem everybody pick on the players and not the bad managers all right so real talk you have to point out where i picked on any player because listen I, when i so you know me i'm going to read the comments as they are it's exactly what is as said right it says all managers, presidents, and players are expendables. So sit there talking like you are exempt, and this is the problem. Everybody pick on the players and not the bad managers. I want you to tell me which player I picked on. All I said in the last video is that, listen, the player said he needed a break. And what happened? If you take the break, it, you should not just walk back into the team, paraphrasing, but you have to work hard. Because the player who comes in should step up. I don't know what you're talking about. Presidents have tenure. Managers have contracts that expires. Whether it is voluntary work that many people who work with the national senior team, they volunteer their time. Many people around the program, outside of the administrative arm of the offices, they, they give service because they are into nation building. So let's that be clear. So because you're a volunteer, you really, you, you can be fired from your volunteer position. You can be removed. No one is, is indispensable. But we're talking about a situation that came up. So nobody at any point suggested, and I can talk as much as I want, because my brother, every day on this job, I always say, and they will tell you this, that one thing with money is money is that any time you believe that I'm the best person, you just tell me. In fact, I am on a quest to find someone. So if you real talk, 7269, know somebody who will do this <laughs> completely voluntarily, except they get to travel and they get per diem. But they are willing to volunteer their time. And you know that they are expert in this field Listen, I would gladly recommend them and share with them what I know. Because for me, it's about the upliftment. So if you know that person, sir, feel free. Send it to me in the messages and I'll let them know. If you know somebody would volunteer to do what Simon is doing, send me the information. I can go on. If you know some persons who are expert in providing massage and stuff and will say, listen, I'm willing to give this service to expand the, 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 the services provided by the national team, right? So you can pay for other things that are more needed, then listen, please reach out to me, recommend them, and I will do it. I, I am very sure, though, that what you're going to do is say, no, that's not how a national team is supposed to work. What kind of volunteer business? Look what you're going to find a next reason to quarrel. I guarantee you that your next comment is not going to be quarreling about why is it volunteer. All right? Big up yourself, man, is man. Hardest working vlogger in this space. That is from Wells W7MW. Thank you so much, Wells. Do I says, big up yourself, Monday's man. Blessings every time. Name drop, please. All right. I guess this is about Reggae Boys Nation asking for a name. All right. So let me give you a name. <laughs> One name. <laughs> Not the track and field athlete, West Ham player. But his name is the name of a famous track and field athlete. Begins with Ben. Um, next year, you will see him down in the Jamaican colors. Next year. Not this year, because we just have like one window left in this year. So next year, you will see him. That's one name. 
right? As a kid, you may see next year or this year. We don't know. All right, so that's two right there. So give us some more some other day. Uh, um, <laughs> one, three, four, five. Nature says in the voice of Bada Cat, Rebelli left that alone. All right. Um, Brown Bear seven seven eight four says true word. Um, Mark Gaza says one love money is money every time. All right. Then this one is from Duklan. What are some of the noticeable structural differences in the camp with McLaren versus Al Grimson? That's question one. How would you say they're per? All right, let me just give you. I can't give you everything, but let me give you one thing. So, um, in the since McLaren has come, what I think is a concept he says is at Manchester United, all the players sit on one table, all right, and there are some compulsory like breakfast. You have a, a window, which is the same thing on the Hal Grimson. Here's the difference, though. You can come in anytime you want for breakfast, but lunch <laughs> and lunch and dinner you do not turn up late yeah and everybody must eat together and that has that has changed some things all right that's that's one of the key things very small but very very important the, the training methods are are very very different as well in terms of things that are worked and how drills are done i mean night and day, diff, completely different set of thinking in terms of how the managers function. The goalkeeping stuff, completely different. So there's a competitiveness and an intensity all the way around with a lot of fun, lots and lots of fun. So those are some of the key things that, that I've seen so far. And also, I mean, I would say that they, they leave uh, uh, administrative stuff for administrators and they, they do technical stuff for technical people and players have no say. <laughs> you understand me? You do what the managers say, <laughs> you go where the managers say. You understand me? Which is critical. All right. You have no say. There's no discussion. This is all going to be basically. All right. How do you say their personality is different? Um, you know what? I find that they're very similar in terms of very jovial. But one thing I say, like you will you will not hear a word of um, McLaren will come and say, listen, this needs to be done, and they have a discussion. There is no complaining. There is no, you, you know, like, talking here. It's right in here. For, listen, where is the water? I thought you said you were going to have water. Why we can't have the water? Let's get the water. Let's get it done right there. So that's a key thing. There's, you will not hear complain. Whatever it is, they're going to tell you in your face. Take it or leave it. Yeah, there there are some traditional and and, and and new thing for the players to go through, definitely. Um um so all players go through that. Can't tell her that what's ever been being like so far, friendly, hostile, professional, partition, no man. Listen, so whenever you see the players ask them, listen, players know that's what I'm telling you, players are calling players, say, yo, they say nice, bro, I'm enjoying myself. No, yo, they love from the gears to the food to the hotels, to the training, to the coach, to the staff, everything. So, so there is no hostility. In fact, the, the head of delegation for this trip is Errol Stevens. Anytime you see him, ask him, Errol Stevens, because he was a player. Don't take it from management. Talk to Errol Stevens, because he was a player, and he will tell you, all right? Yeah, he will tell you. He was a player. Question him. Quiz him. You understand me? Quiz him, all right? All right, the inside joke, the inside joke, he says, give out an inside joke that took place at this camp without naming names. Well, the inside joke could have been what happened with me at the airport. I'm telling you, that was the inside joke because some everything was, everything stopped. We couldn't go anywhere. Big old sweet potato in my ball. <laughs> you understand me? Kurt C says, worst explanation I've ever heard. No, you know. I clearly stated my opinion, sir. It's not an explanation. I don't, I don't believe you should explain things away if there are real issues, but you can give your opinion. You, Kurt, you have an opinion. Here's the thing with this space. Like, what is your opinion on the matter? So when I do a next life, come and share your opinion. And I can challenge your opinion. And you challenge mine. But players, if, if, players, if a player opts out of the team, very simple, 
I am saying that that's up to the player. Injury or needing a break, that's up to the player. And next player is going to be called. That player must cement himself in the team. So the player who decided that he was going to take a break or the player that is injured has to fight to get back in the team. I can't understand like what is a poor what is poor about that explanation? What is bad about that explanation? What is your opinion? What should be done? A player decide that he's he's injured or a player is injured or a player wants a break. He should not be caught. What is your what is your take? Just give your take. But people, longer one than usual. I hope you love this one. Hope you like it. Hope you share you, you, you share. Listen again, leave your comments and then in the next video I will take uh five of those comments and I will go through them and I'll give you my response. But I am management. This is I am sure sports. And as usual, when it gets to this point of the show, what do we do? We come up close to the camera and we say, we are over and we are O-U-T out of here.